Hey everybody, Julia here from Just One More Card and I'm back with another project for Stamping Bella and I'm going to be using one of the Senorita stamps today to show you some Copic coloring. I love the Senorita stamps from Stamping Bella because those characters are just so insanely adorable and just, I don't know, to me they're just more... I don't know, almost as adorable as the unicorns because they're just so happy and just so weird and quirky. Quirky? Quirky? Just funny, basically. So I'm stamping this with my favorite things, Licorice Hybrid Ink, which I use uh, for Copic coloring, pencil coloring, and watercolors. And now I'm just going to show you my Copic coloring process. It's always the same process. Um, so it's not that terribly exciting, um, but I know that, oh yeah, um, you can always use the colored in image as a reference if you, that's the great thing about the Stamping Bella images because you get it in a packaging that shows you the colored image. And you can find all the Copic colors that I'm using on my blog. And I'm just going to play some music for you so you can watch the process. So the process is always going from dark to light and uh, working my way towards like making this a very dimensional image, trying to make it not look flat, but look realistic, basically. Um, so the process is the same for everything. And I'm just gonna play you some music until we're going to put the card together.
next part I decided to leave in the video even though it was a big oopsie because I feel probably it will encourage you to see that this is not if it happens to you it happens to other people as well so here's the sentiment stamp and I was trying to make sure that it's you know um, lined up horizontally perfectly which it was it just was upside down imagine how I wailed I was like no this is impossible so what I did, I stamped it again onto a piece of um, uh, scrap cardstock. Just used my scissors then um, to cut this dovetail, dovetail, like fishtail, taily thingy into it basically. And I'm going to mount it on top of that screwed up sentiment. In retrospect, it might have been better if I used, if I would have used like blue cardstock or a pink cardstock and heat embossed the sentiment in white onto it, but I didn't think of that when I created the card. I was just so upset that I had stamped it upside down. And then for some extra interest, I added some Nouveau glitter drops. The colors will be um, in the video description below as well. Um, that's just to, uh, just to add some glitter and shimmer because I can never have enough glitter and shimmer on a card. And that's it. That's it. I hope uh, you got inspired. Um, I hope that the copy coloring process was helpful for you to watch. You can see here again the highlights and the shadows. And I actually think that the skin turned out really well. I think I like the skin most on this coloration that was worked, that worked out really well. Here's once more the way that I hit my upside down sentiment. I still can't believe this happened to me, but it did. It did. <laughs> and here's the entire card. I hope this inspired you and you've had fun, fun watching the video. I hope you take a look at the Senorita stamps by Stamping Bella because they are really a lot of fun. Here are some more coloring videos for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.